Do you ever have big feelings? Let's talk about how that is okay and what you can do next time to help yourself through that. Here are my zones of regulation. All of these colors show how we are feeling. Feelings are expected and respected. We just have to learn how to work through them in a way that is safe for others and yourself. Yelling and throwing are unexpected, but can happen when we are in the red zone. All we can do is learn how to work through those big feelings in a more expected and trusting way. Let's talk about green zone first. Green zone is when we are feeling calm and flexible. In this zone, we are ready to learn, problem solve, and able to work through those big feeling moments in an expected way. Sometimes something happens and we either feel sad or maybe frustrated. If we feel sad, we might be going into the blue zone. That is okay, but we have to use our strategies to get back into the green zone. In blue zone, our engines and brain are running a little slower. In this zone, we could feel sad, tired, bored, or even sick. If we feel any of these, here are some tools to help you get yourself back into the green zone. If you're bored or tired, try taking deep breaths to get oxygen to your brain and wake it up. Another way to wake it up would be to drink some water. If it is an unpreferred activity, maybe this is time just to practice persevering through those boring, slow, and unmotivating moments in life. There are a lot of them, and you're only stronger for getting through them. If something or someone made you feel sad, maybe try taking some deep breaths in a safe and calming space. Drink some water, find an activity you enjoy, and work through it with an adult. If someone has a toy you want, maybe try turn-taking and set a timer for when it's your time next. If you feel sick, it might take a little bit to get back into the green zone, but take care of your brain and body with rest, sleep, and fluids. If you're finding yourself a little frustrated, amping up, or even super silly, you might be going into the yellow zone. Yellow zone usually happens when we are learning a new skill and it's frustrating, or maybe we didn't get enough sleep so our brain becomes a little too tired or even too silly. We can start to become unsafe in this zone. There is a time and place for this zone, like when we are outside playing with friends or somewhere where there is a lot of fun energy. It can be unexpected at home when everyone is tired, or it can be unexpected in a quiet place. It can also mean our brain is getting a workout and it sends frustrated signals to our emotional side of the brain. It's okay, take a deep breath, work at it for another 10 seconds or even a minute, and if it's still frustrating, then maybe take a break to come back in 20 minutes or so, or even the next day or week. It's okay. You got this. This is where mindfulness comes in. When we recognize that we are amping up to yellow zone, we can use our strategies and tools to bring ourselves back to green zone. Otherwise, the next level is red zone, and this is not where anyone wants to be. This is when people become unsafe and we might feel like we are out of control. It's still okay. We all get here. We have to learn that this feeling is okay and that it will pass. To help my body calm down, I will recognize what is happening within. My heart might be beating. I might be sweating. Tension is all through my body. Maybe mean words in my brain are wanting to come out. This is the most important time to sit down, get grounded, say to yourself or your safety person, I feel in the red zone. I will ground myself by signaling my heart first to calm down. To do this, I will take a deep breath in. And out. You might need to repeat that. Deep breath in and out. When you are calm in the green zone, I am sure someone would love to talk this out with you and problem solve. 
The more we are aware and identify our big, big feelings, the more we can become aware and identify how we can still have our behaviors be kind and safe. Good job growing your brain today. See you next episode where we learn about Superflex and the Unthinkables.